Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. I'm fresh back from some amazing tactical survival training in Kentucky with Rodney Van Zandt from Ironsight Defense, Craig Cottle with Nature Reliance School. Now, one of the requirements for the training was that each student had to put together a tactical and survival loadout that could be worn and used during the entire training that would also serve well in a worst case scenario event. Of course, I had a blast putting mine together and I didn't think it would be right to keep it all to myself, especially since the thing ended up being a pretty formidable three season bug out survival kit with a decidedly tactical emphasis. So let's take a look. So as part of my entire kit for this training, I had my rifle that I put together. Check out the video on that when you get a chance. And for my ruck, I used my J79 Sky Crane 2 from Eberly Stock. I may do a video on that sometime soon because the combination of this chest rig loadout and my rifle and the J79 Sky Crane ruck that I put together for this training would constitute a pretty ridiculous bug out, uh, even a long term scenario kit. To start off, I used the uh, Condor chest rig. You can see here that we have a whole bunch of Molly webbing. We've got six magazine pouches built in, and then we've got pistol pouches built in. And I've got one, two, three magazines here. I've got my Ruger P95 right there, and then one more full mag in this front pouch. This is a really versatile rig, and I like what Condor did. Mine initially came with another set of straps that you can kind of see here. We've got kind of this rotating connector that pops off. Mine had a regular just set of straps that came up the back, but they make this really cool hydration bladder pouch that goes on the back. And so what I did is I replaced the straps with this hydration bladder pack and you can kind of see here it's got a I actually have my condor two and a half liter hydration bladder in here I wouldn't do it any other way we literally went all day with these rigs on our back and that was my water source all day we've got some molly webbing on the back so what I've got here is I've got my Otis rifle cleaning system and I've got a few add-ons, like some Remington oil in here. Uh, back here, this was an add-on that I did not take to the training, but I added it on last night because it made a lot of sense to me to add my OPSEC poncho shelter. It clipped right on my first aid kit. Now, if this was a real mission, I probably might like to have my first aid kit right up on the front of my loadout, that way, if something happened to me, I could get to it myself. So again, this is a modular system. These components could all be moved around. So this is my little first aid kit. Once you remove this strap, this all just pulls off. Specifically, a lot of trauma items right up front here with this add-on item from Condor. Molly webbing, you can put all kinds of stuff on the back here. It works out really good. And the front, I already mentioned we've got, we've got the six magazine pouches and I've got 30 round Magpul Gen M3s with the window. It would have been nice if these pouches came off, but they are attached. This is my Phoenix PD35, very, very affordable multifunction tactical light. Got a rechargeable battery in that. I've got my Gerber multipliers. You only have one hand available with these Gerber multipliers. Your pliers are out, ready to be used. On the side here, I have a 511 radio pouch. In the 511 radio pouch, I've got this Bofang UV 5R5 4 watt dual band two way radio transceiver. I've also upgraded it with 3800 mAh battery, which is over double the size of the original battery that came with it. And the battery this size monitoring, you can monitor for a week. Depending on your scenario, you might actually want a headset versus the speaker mic here. Right here, I've got a Rescue Me. This is a strap cutter, and it's a glass breaker on this side. On the front is a water kit. Now, 
A lot of you guys are gonna recognize this pouch. I've used these, I love these Condor water pouches. So I've swapped out the clean canteen and I've gone with my MSR water filter. And on the inside here, in case I do need to cook or boil anything, I put my stainless steel cup in there with a little cleaning pad. In the front, I've got my sole one person bivy. I have backup water. I've got my Sawyer mini water filter so I could drink right out of a, a stream or whatever with this. Also in here, I've got more water backup. So I've got water purification tablets. I've got some coffee filters, which I like to use on my MSR to pre-filter. And I've got a lighter in case I need to boil water. Last but not least is the survival kit component of this loadout. So right here, this is a full-size Condor Ripaway EMT pouch right here. On the top, I just found it really convenient to clip my tactical gloves when I wasn't using them. Right on top of this pouch, I've got my Petzl head headlamp. It takes three AAA batteries. Also in here, we've got some carbohydrates, Kind Bars, one of my favorites. I've got chocolate, dark chocolate specifically, in individual packs. We've got more carbs, Cliff Bars. And the back side here, ooh, more chocolate. This is Titan Survivor Cord. I'm gonna do a review on this. This is 550 paracord, type three, with wire and fire starter built in, but I've got a good length of about 25 foot right there. Got optics. So this is my Vortex Ranger 1000. This is a 6X optic, and I've been able to range things up to about 1200 meters with these. These are excellent, they're not cheap. These are gonna run you a couple hundred bucks. In this pouch, I've got my compass kit. Got my Silva compass right here, and I've got my SE compass cards and measuring cards. Also in this pouch, I've got one of my Gideon New Testaments, a pencil, a bag, a notepad, and my map. So I need optics for everyday life. So these are my spare set of glasses in case I am out for an extended period. This is my Work Sharp Field Sharpener. I've done a review on this. You guys definitely need to get one of these. Multifunction sharpener. This is my Silky Pocket Boy saw. And in the front here, I think this is gonna be it. I've got a little survival kit kind of deal put together here. Let's see what we got. In this bag, I've got some cotton balls infused with petroleum jelly. Got a video on that. I've got my Shrade Fire Steel and Striker. Very nice, I use those in our training. Got some waterproof matches and some fire starters I'm testing. I think they're called Baddest B. So gonna test those out, probably do a video on those at some point in that bag. And I've got a lighter right here, another lighter. In this bag, got a little hygiene kit, got a little technology pouch, but specifically, I've oh, I've got some duct tape. Nice little roll of duct tape. Got earplugs. This is the headset that goes with my Baofeng radio. This is the this is the standard stock battery that comes with the radio. So that's a backup battery. That'd get me another several days if I ran out of batteries. Got a bunch of AA batteries for my flashlight and an extra one for my Lucid HD7 red dot scope that's on my rifle. Plus, I've got another set of batteries for my Phoenix tactical flashlight and a little backup button compass. One last thing, we've got this cool pull-away pocket that you can put a map or something in. Right now, I just happen to have bio wipes in here. So these are biodegradable, 30 count, really, really handy when you're in the field. I highly recommend them. And that's it. This would also function very well as a tactical survival kit, even up to a three season type tactical bug out bag. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that we've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the show more tab under this video.
So don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and the Ultimate Survival Tips show on Carbon TV. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And while you're there, grab our free survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contest we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know. Yeah.